Said I plan to pull off a couple upsets. We'll see what he can do here against Little Tiger. Pretty even off the start. Almost dead even as they head down to the turn. Boy, they are dead even. A great race. Now remember, good start for Mountaineer. Little Tiger's run against these guys before here on Motor Madness. As a matter of fact, he's made the final four a couple of times. Little Tiger trying to take that turn a little too hard. Oh, Little Tiger goes over. Wow, what a tough break for Brian Barzell. And here comes Mountaineer to pull off the win in round one. Little Tiger just couldn't make that turn. The U.S. Hot Rod officials quickly on the scene to make sure Brian's okay and he's moving around in the car. But, you know, you can't even get to the final four of the finals until you can come up with a first-round win. They both want this one bad, and they both think they can win this race. All right, and they are underway here. And as through the first turn, a little bit of trouble. Trouble for Scott Stevens. He had to actually back that truck up. Did not make the turn. That is going to kill him. And here comes Reptoid around. Knows all he's got to do now is run smooth. Oh, man, he just saw it. We were in the background there. The wheel came off. I saw that wheel rolling off. Scott Stevens had problems from the get-go in this thing. This is not a run that's going to end up on Scott Stevens' no. highlight reel, except for what can happen in a monster truck. First of all, he misses the turn. You can see right there, if he takes that sonal tube out, that way they're going to DQ him because he was going to maul it rather than just kind of bump the thing. Now as he comes around, he corrects it, and let's watch what happens because all of a sudden when he hits the wheel, wow, it just busted on him. Well, it just broke there in the... Uh, we were focused in on Reptoid, our huge point lead, making a splash in St. Louis as he goes up against Killing Time. And again, this is early round action. Now keep your eyes on Twister 2 in the turn, up and over on his lid. But look at this. Keeps going, back on all fours, and here he goes again. <laughs> That's what incredible. That was incredible. Awesome. How about Ron Hobbs Sr. and Ridge Runner up on his nose? Oh, my. You know, these uh, tabletop jumps and some of these others, they have just too much for a smaller truck like Hobbs. What's amazing, look at Hobbs. He just kind of sits there on his nose for a while. I'm sure he's thinking, well, am I going over or am I going back? He went over. Indeed, he did. There's another one who cannot do it. Troy Durgin just had a really tough time. And John, Jungle Blue, and Wild Thing. Indeed, it was tough on the front ends and the noses and the radiators. Here we're going to look at the zebra in action against Concoction. Now, this is round two competition, trying to earn the way into the finals, and the zebra takes it up and over. And indeed, that man, Bulldozer, and Tom Mintz, and Bulldozer gets a lot of air, as he usually does around that turn here. It's Grave Digger. They're even. They're dead even. They are dead even. We will see how they negotiate this final turn. Digger does it very, very smooth, but so does Tom Mintz. He's got some horsepower. Let's see. Oh, my. That's too close to go. That is all. Oh, my. This is, we're going to get it on the ice. I'm like, i got to tell you, this is now the rivalry in monster truck racing. The superstar for years, the, the icon of the sport, Dennis Anderson. He kind of got himself slapped around a little bit here a few weeks ago on Motor Madness when Tom Mintz came in and dominated. It's meant a lot to Anderson to come back and be Declared the winner. Together. Now, though, he knows he's got to go full out to beat Grave Digger. And let's remember that Dennis Anderson has had a little problem with his back as he points that nose down over that first jump. He said, you know, that's a problem. It almost knocks the wind out of him. So we'll see what happens and how it affects him as now they come around and take this final turn. Digger. Oh, my! Grave Digger! Oh, oh, oh. What Carolina a piece Christian. of driving. What an incredible save that was, Mike. Crusher's going to win. Digger oh. could not get around that turn, but really did a great job of saving this truck from going over. You really see the talent of one Dennis Anderson when you watch after this straightaway making that final turn. I don't, see, I don't see how he kept it from going. And it also shows you how focused he is because, you remember, he's been very upset after what happened to the controversy after the bulldozer thing. To make that move, that was an amazing drive. Guys. Again, Gary didn't want to be in that last turn looking at Barefoot like we just talked about. And it was Barefoot who got out to a pretty good start. Both trucks make their turn fairly smooth. Barefoot looking awfully strong, though. The start went to Barefoot, and that is always tough to overcome. Final turn. Looks 
looks like it's barefoot out in front just a bit. Harry Ford is trying, but he can't catch him. Barefoot wins the world championship here in St. Louis. And the hometown guy, Brian.